All right, so here we go. We're going to update one view. So we go to HP login. And we took the software packages. Uh, type in one view here and search. And you can see the little search filter there saying one view. You can X out if you have other filters there. And then we're going to find just a regular HP one view. And then we're going to go to the product details. And then we can see all the versions here. And uh, we want the latest 8.3 because we're currently on 8.2. I try and keep it current. And click on it and it tells you the fixes. This is a security fix as well as another. And we'll go look at the available files here and we see the bin file is what we need for updating. And there's also an OBA for installation and all the other versions. So bottom corner here, we go to the downloads, but there's a little robot in the way. Let's get rid of that. There we go, let's go to downloads. Any minute now. All right, here we go. Like I said, here's all the files. I got a bin file, which is what we're going to need for the update. It's also an OVA file if you're doing an installation. There's signature files to compare. Uh, there's updates for Hyper V and KVM as well. Uh, my environment is uh, ESXi. I'm running in VMware, so that's the download I need. All right, let's get started. Um, if you're on the appliance, you can see the version you got under settings, appliance, I'm 8.2. We're going to make a backup here. Sorry, i got to block out some stuff. I'm going to download it in the browser. And this is just going to put it right in my downloads. In case we need this, in case anything goes bad, but uh, I rarely have anything go wrong with this. Then we'll hit update appliance here. I'm going to browse, and you can see I got the bin and the OVA here. Um, let's just try the OVA, and I'll show you what happens. And Oh, invalid file format. So this doesn't work. So let's go back and get the other one. All right, do the bin file. Here we go. And then I'm going to upload the image and wait for prompt to install it. And some of this will be fast forwarding a little bit or speeding up. So you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Uh, the upload takes a bit of time. The whole process takes probably about an hour. And here we go, sped that up. So you now we have to agree before we update to the license. And here we go, I'll put the upgrade. And you can see the different tasks it does if, you, if you're watching it. And it tells you approximate time of each task, which is, I don't know, not the best. I wish it would give you an overall time, but it doesn't. And again, I'm going to speed through some of this here. Here we go, we're going to reboot. You can also check it at the console level so you can see what's happening. You won't see this if you're doing it in the browser. But you can see here the appliance is loading. You can do this from the appliance itself or from the web page. And I'm just going back to the web page here and it'll pick up where it left.
left off before the reboot. And here we go. So you can see it's still updating, 8.2 to 8.3, 70% complete. Starting all the stuff now. This will take a bit of time, but again, I'll fast forward this, speed it up for us. There we go, complete it. And you can see the ticker tape at the top shows that under settings, appliance, you see version 8.3. And they say you should create another backup if you want, and if you're done, but you know, you know where to do that now. So here we go over here. We'll click on a little ticker tape here and then we can get some details. And you can see all the steps that it took to update. So if anything goes wrong, you can look in here and see what happened. That's kind of all there is to it. Um, hope this helps. Happy upgrading.